Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here, back with more Let's Play Shining the Holy Ark. And we are at God's Peak. Let's go up the stairs and see what is going on. Oh, this looks eerie on so many levels, but we have in front of us, there's Panzer. See him over there. And we see the Ark. And there's Relics. Come on, you old hag, show yourself. You've broken the mystic barrier. I underestimated you. We're so close. I should be enough to take care of these fools. Oh, really? Can you handle them alone? No. No, she can't. If you stay and fight alongside me, I'll feel stronger, but you're needed elsewhere. And so she's going to... You must have seen and defeated these before, but are you prepared to battle several at once? So she summons the evil vampires. Though that's that's what I was uh, saying as far as fodder fights. If Panzer is busy, can I help you? Oh crap! It's Elise. We've had no interaction with her other than when she uh, was in town, and apparently her trying to kill uh, Lisa. Please don't misunderstand me, Relix. I just want to help. Alright, it's a little... Not good that she's here. At all. And what was she... She's powering up the summons that Relix is using? So I guess if... Elise hadn't intervened, we wouldn't be fighting evil vampires? So... Yeah. Let's show them the power of the Vandals. Alright. You want to play that? Relics and two evil vampires. Alright, so we are going to switch out Melody and Lisa. So what we're going to do is we are going to have Arthur Inferno 2 Support. Um. Uh, support. And we'll have Rhodey attack and try to just instantly kill one of the evil vampires. Because uh, that's that would really be the quickest way to, to end this fight is if Rhodey just manages to do that <laughs> and one shot. Uh, one of these evil vampires. Uh, in the meantime, Arthur can do a ton of damage with Inferno. That's... that was just hilarious. Alright, and she's gonna throw out attack, which means we're gonna need to throw out a, a negate here soon, but we wanna take out the, uh... the fodder first. And... A little damaging with that. And crystal... That's not good. 105. Alright, um... I need a lot of healing. Alright, so we're gonna... Th we'll throw out another Inferno. Two... Throw out an Aura. An Aura. And... Um... Let's try to kill him. If we could, if we could get so lucky to one shot both of those, that's that's the fight. We're done. <laughs> like that's that's it. Oh, thank you, Rhodey. All right, now we can we can switch out. Um, uh, I'm going to switch out Melody for someone else. Uh, probably Doyle, because he, he power attacks a little more often. Alright, so attack, attack, attack. We're going to throw out a negate to get rid of her status boosts. 
Spell effects on relics have vanished. And there's Lisa with her power attack. The crystal ball ex oh god, epilepsy. Oh, so you can negate too. How wonderful. And then you're throwing out a spark four. You think you're funny. But just realize I wiped out your team. Uh in in a hit. Um actually at this point I think Rody is kind of superfluous. Because I don't think he can uh I don't think he would be able to finish the the I, I, he can't one-shot her, is is the problem. Alright, so let's throw out an aura, let's attack, let's throw out support. So that we get our speed boost back, because it completely removes our speed. And I would like that, and hey, the HP and MP restore from her items, always good to have. Shield. Okay, so she's going to take less magic damage, which is fine, because I'm not going to be throwing magic at you as a single target. Like, I, the only reason why I might even do that is uh, to uh, see if I can get summoned from Spark. Aura, attack, and another support. That's a question that I'm wondering. If she uses the crystal ball exploding to remove our status effects, does that also remove the status effects that are on our support team? Or does our support team lose their status effects when they are switched out of battle? These are questions that I don't know the answers to. Either way... Oh, no, I don't, I don't want you to have attack. But that's fine. We can... Alright, crystal laser is obnoxious. Because it just does a lot of damage does a lot of damage, but hey, I've got the ability to restore, um, do I want to do that? Um, let's do that. Let's do that. That, that sounds like it'll be a, a good idea. Divine protection. So, like, now every turn, Arthur will just recover 100 MP. So, that's... That's fine. In fact, I may go ahead and put that on Doyle as well. And, uh, then switch Melody out for Basso. No, at this point, I'm gonna switch out Melody for Rody. Because... <laughs> She does not need to have all of those those boosts. So let's actually just go ahead and do that now. So attack, 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 negate. And I probably should start using attack boosting spells to boost my attack to do more damage. Especially to like Arthur and Doyle who are just power attacking constantly. All right, you want to remove effects? That's fine. We're, we're going to play that game. You want to remove effect and spark four, which means Rody is in a world of hurt. Rody is almost dead. Um, that's... Ooh, there... That's... Let's switch Lisa out for Akane so that she can do what she needs to do best, which is praying for her. And thankfully she gets the turn first, which, that's just perfect. There we go. And now, oh! Tried to critical, but I guess that she can't instantly die, so Rhodey's not going to be... That's going to be kind of obnoxious for this. Alright, I'm getting tired of your, your multiple actions a turn, woman. Alright, so with that in mind, we are going to start throwing out things like Ferocity. Um, 
I don't remember which is which. Um, I know one of them is is a, well. You know what? That's that's fine. Well, she everyone's back up to full, so we'll bring bring Melody back in. And actually, let's go ahead. And, no, because I I kind of need ferocity on. So, uh, attack, attack, support, and ferocity on Doyle. So that that's not a bad bad series of events. All right. Ferocity level one. Doyle's attack is going to go by 88. And attack level one on Arthur. 98. 149. All right, and she's throwing out attack again. I'm going to throw out another another negate. And I'm going to need two aura because this is just getting ridiculous. And the downside is, when her crystal ball explodes, I lose my uh, my restore ability as well. So that's, that's just another thing that really makes that spell kind of obnoxious. So that that's just... that's a pain is what it is. And her spell effects are gone. 478 for Arthur. And Rilix is dead. 3,000 points of experience. Lisa levels up to 21. Anyone else gonna level up? Now. So, now we've just got a little bit more story. Rilix has been defeated. We'll be able to open the Ark very soon. Once the Holy Ark is opened, the evil will be released. Our revenge will be complete. Unfortunately, Relix will not be here to witness it. Yeah, because I killed her. If there is no one left to fight the Dugirders, there is little point in my continuing. <laughs> are you giving up, Panzer? Yeah, what are you still doing here? I thought you didn't give a damn about the Thousand Year Kingdom. I don't. I'm just having fun. Before my sister failed and was killed right in front of me. Alright, so now we've pissed off Elise by killing her sister. Well, you know what? If you won't stand by, then what will you do? If my sister's last wish was to open the Holy Ark, I'll help you. Alright, so she's gonna help open the Holy Ark, and she's using her power... I, I don't know. And Galm shows up as well. And if there's one person Elise is actually f scared of, it's Galm. Because the two of them, they're, they're closer to on par. But if you get involved now, the result is obvious. I regret hearing the news about Relix. I sympathize with you. You think I'm upset over Relix's death? If you're not upset, then why help Panzer? It's not like you. What about helping an old lover? I just want to make them suffer and enjoy myself in the process. Alright. What are you doing here? <laughs> nice to see you too, Panzer. Uh, if you're here to stop us... No. You may have opened the Holy Ark a little, but only a small fraction of evil has been released. Reviving the Thousand Year Kingdom will not be that easy. Yeah, I love how everyone is so full of themselves in this fight. It's great. You said you wouldn't help us. You also said you wouldn't interfere with our plans either. I'll keep my word. Alright. If you know everything, then show me what you've learned. All right. Panzer is uh, 
doing something, and I don't think it's going to end well for anyone. Um, at all. <laughs> Gollum's like, you're, you're done. And even Elise is a little freaked out. I was like, what, what's going on? What, what is this? And we have the last CG scene where the Holy Ark, with its face, launches evil into Panzer, causing him to warp into a creature of just pure disgust and evil. Panzer, evil bodies. All right, so we have Panzer and Evil Bodies. Um, uh, we will. I will try to take out the Evil Bodies. Uh, let's see, I don't even have enough magic to use that. All right, so uh, let's switch out for Forte, and we're gonna throw out some. Actually, no. We're going to switch out for Lisa. We're going to stick with the strategy we had of... Uh, evil bodies... Uh, support and support... And see if... I can one-shot these things. I don't know if I can. I'm not 100% sure on this. I, I don't know. But we're going to try. At the very least, we're going to do some damage to them. A lot of damage to them. With double power attacks. Holy crap. And Lisa dodged the attack. Freeze four. See, this is why we want to take these things out, like, right now. Because they actually can do a little bit of damage to us. Granted, freeze is the lowest of the AoE spells that we have to worry about, but... Uh, how about no, Scott? But I can't do anything about it at the moment, because I need Brody to attack. And attack with Chaotic Blizzard. That's... that's damaging. That's gonna hurt. A lot. Yeah. So now I need to spend the next two turns, or the next turns... Uh, actually, no. Screw that. We're gonna... we've got items, we're gonna use them. Uh... No, we're going to attack the evil body. Uh, you don't have anything, so we'll just throw out another support with you. You have a healing ring. Yes, you do. And Brody... I got to see if I can take these out. So... Uh, I, I have to be able to see if one of them can die with a, a special attack. And this this will be a slightly longer episode because we'll have a little bit of a, a story at the end of... Well, I mean, we'll have the story at the end of the fight, obviously. So... Um, but, yeah. Stop... Okay, I really need to remove their support. I don't I don't like that at all. I landed a thunderous punch for two points of damage. Okay. Let's throw out another support. Let's throw out an aura two. And let's please just one shot in this. That would be so wonderful. I would love for one of those to just die. But apparently that's not happening. That's just not happening. Alright, so I don't know if those can actually be one-shotted. So I will have... Rhodey throw it in the gate so that we can continue to do damage to them because I don't like the fact that they've got support and... And one point of damage, and one point of damage, and a blizzard. The chaotic blizzard is actually kind of a threat. That, that actually does damage to us. I'm not a fan of that. 
Alright, let's just attack. Uh, let's aura to make up the damage we just took and negate. And get rid of all of their special effects. Because we don't need that on them at all. Like, that's, that's a thing you, you guys don't need. And I probably need to do some AoE damage to try to take these things out a little bit faster. And Blaze 4, you've got Blaze 4, Freeze 4, Support, and that one on the on the left seems like it's got all the support magic. Yeah, it's got the, the boosts the buffs and whatnot, so we're gonna... I think we're doing good to take him out first. Soul Steel level 2. If you've got to be kidding me! What... What final boss has Soul Steel? That is just a dick move to have all around. Alright, um... I mean, I could throw out Anti-Spell and see if that'll stick. It probably won't, so that's that really is just a waste. So let's just focus our efforts on attacking and ending these things. Let's do... Uh, yeah, let's do Negate, because I don't remember what it's got on it, so... I will, I'll end this episode when I kill one of those. The, the evil body on the left that I've been focusing my all of my efforts on, when he dies is when we will end this episode. That'll give us a good idea of how long the next episode's going to be. Alright, so all of your spell effects are gone. Stop doing that, and... Another power attack, that's good. Regular attack, emitted an evil feeling. I don't know what that does. I don't like it. It does damage. Does it do status effects too, or does it just damage? I think it's just damage. Alright, so no, they both have some support ability. That's just even better. I was hoping that I could take out the... Son of a bitch. Alright, so I'm gonna need to aura again. Or, actually at this point, I'm probably gonna need to throw out a uh, healing rain. Uh, Arthur, Healing Rain. Um, I don't know if Barrier would s help me out any with that Chaotic Blizzard or not. Uh, actually, I think it would be Shield, which... Problem is, I only have Shield 1, so that's not as effective. So, let's just do damage and... See if I can slow them down a little bit. That would uh, that would be somewhat helpful. Uh, what would also be helpful is you know one of those evil bodies dying. That would also be really beneficial at this point. All right, spider thread didn't do anything really. That's that's obnoxious. Alright, so now we're going to need to throw out another negate. Of course we are. I would love for you just to be dead. Just the one. We've done a ton of damage to them. How much HP do they have? I don't have my guide next to me or I'd look it up. Alright, I have to throw out negate because they just threw out two supports. That's... At least they don't have the crystal ball exploding ability, that's... And as long as these sticks to things like that, I'm actually okay with this. Uh, like, I, I really don't care if that that is his, uh... Like, if he just wants to keep throwing out attacks, that's fine. I'm okay with that. I would really love for one of these things to die, though. The one that I've actually been attacking for a good number of rounds. Come on and die. You are seriously 
just getting on my last nerve. There we go. One down. So we know it's going to take a, a metric ton of damage to take these things out. So, um, like I said, we've taken one out. I will go ahead and end this episode here. After we take a hit from a Chaotic Blizzard and probably need to throw out some more healing. Because that's going to do a ton of damage to me. Alright, so yeah, uh, I'll end this episode here. I will see you guys in the next installment that will hopefully be the last. So, uh, till then, later everyone.